June 15th, Thursday, around 11 a.m. Eastern Time, also market time. Yeah, so let's take a look at the ES. We're getting in the zone that we're pretty much blasting now, you know? Because the last zone of 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 resistance was this area here, right? 40, uh, 4300, right? That was the last area of resistance. And now we're basically, the price is moving. And part of it is because the bulls are winning, but also it's because the resistance up top is... Like there is no resistance that's any near term right so right now like there's no reason for anyone that's long to sell obviously you can you can scalp intraday and there is really nice trades to be taken yesterday and we can we can go over that but right now it's just like it's a we're <laughs> the thing is like we're not bullish because Yesterday, the Fed said pretty much nothing, and they're still gonna. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they. <laughs> there was not much answered yesterday, honestly. So. Yeah, we're we're in a bit. We're not in a bull market. So, but yeah, but the price does not reflect that, right? Obviously, but the fundamentals. There's no chance this will just go on here. I believe the reason we're up here is because of the tech market, right? All the AI stuff, which is, I don't know. It's going to have an impact on society for sure. It's like the internet. So like the hype is like, you know, it's a hype, but still, will it, will it just be a hype or will these people hold forever? I mean, I think most of these people that are buying into the tech, mar the tech, uh, in the tech sector are buying into hold for a while. So it's, yeah, for that reason, like it's 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 kind of hard to call the top to like all that money like siphons, right? Like all like when all the bulls go along and there is no one to go along anymore. Well, then we're gonna have a. That's when we're gonna have a nice retracement, right? Because right now we're just moving on air. It's just like all these little areas right here. They're they're this is a show. This is a weakness, right? Right? Like this is like show weakness right here. Obviously, this is like you know. We are pushing for new highs, right? So this weakness probably fuels this 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 move right here because all the shorts that got destroyed. Anyways, let's go into the intraday and check it out. Okay, so here we are. This is on the day, right? So I mean let's just go back and see what happened yesterday, right? So before I left, right? I said that I was leaving around here. I said that, okay, Powell's going to speak, right? He's right there, right? And just usually, like, if the market is going up before the speech, it's probably going to sell off, right? And then once it sells off, like, historically, it's always getting bought back up. So, like, when you get, when you see this massive sell off and it's coming into an area and it's showing this stuff of, like, like like the the move definitely gets bought up here right like this first one okay the knife buyers all right lucky to the adma there right and then you have the next wave of sellers brr, right and then this this just starts getting accumulated and then boom take it back up to where it started pretty much so this this zone here as i was saying is still considered to be the biggest volume even all these things happen. Obviously, there's volume here as well, but it's just it's just distributed distributed across different levels. So it's like across a bigger range. But this is like accumulated. So pretty much when the price comes back into that area, you'll see some type of a move like it, we did right here. That was a nice bounce short, right? And then overnight, nothing pretty much happens. So we're basically grinding down. Europe sells off. We go back into the neutralized zone and see. You see, every time we just hit this cloud which is just where the algos like to neutralize the price right that's pretty pretty much what this tracks so 
And if we're about it, we're bullish. So like right now, we're bullish because I think the news was just pretty much empty and the market came up on empty news in, in the first place. So like why would it just sell off right now when there is no like real bad news? But the news is not good. We're in a bear. Like I consider us to be in a bear market even though the spy is pumping and you know, I mean whoever pumping in this is just... It is what it is. I mean, they're pumping the market. I mean, that's it. Like, they just don't want the market to look like it's weak. And uh, it doesn't, like, the market is not reflecting reality. But it doesn't matter. Like, these bullish moves can last for a while, right? Because we, we just never know how long. Uh, yeah, because, like, bullish moves usually last way longer than anyone expects them to. So, like, a lot of bears will get destroyed, and then they'll miss the huge sell-off. And I expect this to, like, I think we're topping off. Like, 14, like this was my top out price, and I think we pretty much hit it, right? The 4,400, it's, like, literally on the spot. 4,400 is the, is the highest the price has been. So, this is where I'm looking to... Uh, potentially short for a swing but not not for a swing but for the bigger move but i don't think the bigger move is going to happen today like it might like just start trickling down but yeah i don't think the people pushing this up are done exiting right so once they're done exiting i'll discuss that and then there will be a bigger trade because right now any anytime you want to short here it's like you're just assuming that the the buyers are gonna bring the price up so in those areas you you're cover right like you basically short to cover in a dip buy zone or you can just buy the dips even like the problem with buying the dips you're buying at the top and right like I, as i'm saying like you could be the last person buying here or this could this could trickle up another 10 20 points right like 44 20 like yeah 4420 all right so that's the that, that's the price they're probably going to try to touch before they slam it down a little bit because right now we are getting like the neutralized zone is coming up closer to this which is not a good thing because well that means like the bigger players have already left right because you don't want the price to neutralize while you're looking for it to move higher right like the, the price needs to move higher little by little that's pretty much it yeah other than that we just need to see what's going to happen with these other uh big caps like are they gonna actually still pump and where is all this money coming from i mean we're gonna we're gonna figure out soon someone has to report something right so no well, there's a lot of money it's it's just i think it's just a little it's a bubble because we gapped to we gapped that but still like people are so bullish on the on the outcome of uh what ai are uh you know but the like the whole ai sector is super bullish and there's a good reason to be bullish about it it's not like crypto or like any other sector that was bullish in the past 10 years that was complete joke right so yeah this is not like this is going to be some real shit so we're already gonna see the effects of this and it's gonna get even crazier really fast so at this point it's like it's yeah i mean it is weird to be buying at the top but i just don't think these things are gonna turn over that fast but the uh, but i think the overall market will turn when those people stop buying because they ran out of money to buy with right and that's the way i'm looking at it when people get tired of buying up nvidia intel or uh, or amd they're gonna the people that bought first they're gonna start selling and then they're gonna stabilize yeah they're gonna they're gonna stifle the whole move like the overall market movement because it, i think it's carried by that right now and some other little things but right now it's just like that like the 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 ai, the AI sector they just don't want to stop selling they don't want to start they don't want to sell anything they just want to buy so for that reason it's like we're we're like bullish but 
it's too expensive for my blood to even go long, even for a scalp, you know? I don't know. So for that reason, I'm just going to wait out, wait this out and uh, possibly structure something for tomorrow. But tomorrow's Friday, so I don't know. They're closing this week strong, so I think we're going to maybe get a little spill on Friday just to get the premiums. You know, they're just going to try to get the best price that they can get on Friday. So yeah, there's going to be, I expect it to sell off un unless this sells off. Right when I leave, you know, right when I stop recording here. But I think Friday is going to sell off. If this doesn't sell off today. Or if it doesn't gap up. It doesn't gap down over over the overnight. So Europe doesn't sell first, right? If Europe doesn't sell first. If they do, then we're probably going to like linger around this area. Like I would say we're going to linger around 40, uh, 4350. Yeah, between this zone right here, somewhere in this zone, that's like where 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 we're gonna linger if, uh, if we sell off right now, and we might hit here and then come back there, right? Like something like this. But if we don't, and we just stay here, well, that's that's gonna be good for tomorrow, right? Tomorrow is gonna have a bigger sell off if we hold for today. But if this doesn't hold, then tomorrow is gonna be we. It's going to be hard to trade tomorrow because of that. But yeah, right now, I'll just leave this box here and we'll, we'll see what happens. Because this box, like, yeah, there was a nice entry here, right? There's a lot of money to be made right there. Even on the dip buyers, right? Because, yeah, because history tells us that every time Powell speaks and the market moves in whatever direction, it will do the opposite after he's done speaking. So, yeah they're repeating that and it's like i don't know you can just trade that and make a lot of money doing that <laughs> it's just so funny but yeah at this point gotta exercise patience and yeah stay safe and i'll see you guys tomorrow